So once you've practiced it, like I've shown you there, what you now need to do is bring it up a notch. So in the second week, what I would say to you is try and do it in the different directions. You've seen in different videos where I've had you punching in different directions, going forwards and backwards, the same rotation of the hips. The same thing comes with the hook. So what you'll be doing, I'll do this in orthodox stance first. You literally will hook forwards, going forwards. You then do it going backwards. Remember the whole time, keep your hand on your chin, your rear hand on your chin, and do not punch through the centre line. You're then doing it again across. Across the other way. You should still feel the oblique. Only this time, as you're getting a bit of rotation in it, you won't feel it as much, but I want you to still think about that oblique because that is where the stored energy is in order to make the hook pop. So We'll go south pole style. I guess I'll be going off to my left south pole. So dipping. I go back to orthodox. By this stage, what you need to be doing when you turn and you hook is bring it straight back to your chin. So remember, bring it straight back to your chin. Do not go back to the same arc. Even though I've told you to do it wide, I don't want you to go back wide. Right, so what you shouldn't be doing is hooking and bringing your hand back around here. You've hooked, bring it back in a straight line. Hook, bring it back in a straight line. Hook, straight line. Hook, straight line. So, keep a mirror image with me. So, orthodox guys, mirror image with me. Hook going across. See the rotation of the hips? So the mirror image of me. Going across. Going backwards, I'll come forwards. So this is for the orthodox guys. You come forwards now. South force, keeping a mirror image of me. So going backwards, south force. Hand on the chin, my rear hands on the chin. Going backwards, see the rotation, I'm going slower a little bit. See? Sideways. Going backwards again. So what you need to do, bit by bit, get faster and faster and faster. Okay, so we'll try and do it again. So remember gluing the hand on the chin, red hand on the chin. I'll do it with my back to you this time. I do it orthodox, I'm, I'm an orthodox fighter, so I'm a little bit quicker. So I'm going forwards. And backwards. To the sides. And then you'll do freestyle in various directions, but you just keep the rotation going. I'll do it sideways on. If you want to be a little bit cocky with it, you remove your head a little bit as well. So rotate with your head. But keep your hands high at all times. So now if you've been doing it for two weeks, week one was the getting it, understanding the tension in your oblique. Week two was speeding it up a little bit and doing it in different directions. So now we need to vary the distance. So by week three, understand about varying the distance. And this is the key thing about hooking. So, I'll do it from the side. Rear hand is on chin. Your palm should be down. Your palm should be facing the ground. And that is, that has me at a perfect 90 degrees. My hand is at 90 degrees in terms of to my chin, if that makes sense. So literally, my landing point is here. Okay, same distance. But now we can get a bit cocky with this, so we can vary. If I point my palm to myself, so I turn my, my hand, so my hand facing myself, I bring it in about three or four inches, so I show, throw a short hook. So literally, it's a shorter hook. I'm sure if you can see on the camera angle here, I'm aiming at this kind of pink square over there. And then when I go the normal palm down, I'm near the purple. So my landing point is just a little further away. If I bring my palm to me, again, it's, my landing point is nearer. 
So what you can do with a pad holder is you can vary different pads. So you can do it a bit nearer to you with the palm towards you. Or you can go a bit further away, the midline. So I say middle distance. And then when you're really, really competent at this, the trick is to turn your hand a little further, 45 degrees, and you get just a little further away. Not for that, not the way out there, just about here. So your knuckles are pointing downwards slightly, right? This is a real, real pro's trick, shall we say. And then you can really swing round wide. So you literally dip and swing wide. Dip, swing wide. Word of warning, when you do these wide ones, you can feel your front deltoid really ache when it catches on there. So there is a risk of injury. So make sure you've really warmed up on this one because I'll be honest, as brilliant a punch as it is, and if you can see it executed, it really pops. Um, the best example of that hook I think that I can think of is I think Donald Curry versus Nil Milton McCrory. I believe it's either a round two or a round four knockout. I'll maybe look through it and put, put it in the, the corner of this video. But literally, he does a long hook, crack, guys out, okay? So remember that, judge your distance, and then you can combine it all. So you can do, you know, long hooks, short hooks. So, you know, long hooks, long hooks, I go long here, short hooks mid-range, and do time it all there. Long, short. So vary what you're doing. You can do it with a pad holder, take your time. So if I were doing the pads with you, for example, so for the south paws, I'm getting you to do a hook at me, so you're gonna do your right hook. I literally would put it at the line here, bang, you hit me. Bang, you hit me. I'd bring it a bit nearer to myself, so you throw a long one. Hook, long hook, long hook. Mid hook, mid hook, short hook, short hook. From the orthodox, mid hook, mid hook, mid hook, short hook, short hook, short hook, long hook, long hook, long hook. So you, should be, you can swing at different distances and you will get, your subconscious will take over and eventually you will know where the target is.